What's up guys, welcome to Rotorite. My name's Alex Vanover. And I'm PDevX. And today we're gonna have a really awesome trick tutorial for you guys. James and I have been doing this one trick recently in a lot of our videos that a lot of you guys have caught attention to and wanna learn how to do. And that's a trippy spin, but not just any trippy spin, it's a trippy spin with a rewind. And today we're out here at the amazing FPV park here in Portland, Oregon, thanks to Eric for hosting us. And we're gonna show you guys how to do it today. I think we should start out by talking about like, what is a rewind? A rewind is kind of like when you take a trick, you do it one direction and then you reverse it and do it the other direction. So I think the easiest example of that is doing a roll to the left, stopping real quick and then do a roll to the right. Yep. But there's plenty of combinations that you could do. You could do a power loop into a Maddie, and then what we're doing today, which is the trippy spin rewind, go back the other direction. So I think we need to find the right tree because we want to have open space. And we're actually kind of in uh, in a more confined area right here, so. But you can pretty much do it anywhere when you get comfortable with it. But what you generally want to do is just find a tree, just like you're doing any trippy spin, and try and have it in an area that's like, again, not surrounded with other trees. Something tall too. I mean, we could honestly use one of these two trees right here. Yeah, I really like this tree with the perch on it oh the perch tree yeah yeah that's it's really one. it's really wide out in the open and these are the perfect trees to do trippy spins on because they just go up for days and I think one of the hardest parts of doing trippy spins is trying to manage how high up on the obstacle you are so when you have all this space to work with it's just so much easier to get into it and so we're gonna kind of come up to a tree like this and we're gonna start orbiting around so it's you know a really cool thing if you've never seen a trippy spin we have a video about how to do trippy spins be sure to go watch that video because if you don't know how to do trippy spin this isn't going to be any easier for sure it's key that you know how to do them in both directions yes. a lot of time you have a more dominant direction and some mm -hmm. sometimes you know that's like all i'm doing is just the one direction yep and so i have a lot of practice going one way and not as much going the other way so you want to make sure that you know your practice on each direction so yeah. that when it's time to flip it back around, you know what you're, yep. you're getting yourself into. Yep, so we're gonna pop up, we're gonna do a trippy spin in one direction, the quad's gonna stop, and then we're gonna go the other direction just like this. Yeah, and I think that's the hardest part is it's figuring out how stop. to get the stop. I kinda do like a little bit of like a vertical juicy flick with it, like where I just kinda like snap the quad back the other way. Some guys do it like a little bit more flowy, like you know, they'll just kinda like flow back into the other way. And we're gonna show you both of our styles and how we do it, and hopefully by the end of this video, we'll be able to describe how we do it to you guys, which is very difficult to do in this case, but also you guys will be able to go out and try it yourself. So the first thing I like to do is I like to kinda just like scope around, even though we've kinda gotten the lay of the land sometimes when you're at a new spot you won't actually walk over to the tree what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make sure you know I know of the other obstacles that are around this is just something I like to do for any trippy spin but especially when you're kind of going both ways and rewinding because generally when you rewind you end up blowing it out a little bit wide so I want to make sure I'm not going to go on anything so let me just start by doing a normal trippy spin just like that and then when I want to rewind I'm going to basically move the sticks the other way and I start with yaw in order to kind of flick the quad the other way. And I can just do this all day long. And what I'm doing is I'm just balancing throttle to make sure I hold it there. And I'm keeping my center of the screen faced right at the tree. So here we go, I'm trippy spinning left right now. So I have my left stick is moving right and my pit or my roll stick is moving left. And when I want to rotate, I increase my yaw rate for a second and then I just rotate back the other way. So now we're yawing left and rolling right in order to go right. And you can just hang her all day long until you hit something. <laughs> so that's pretty much the gist of the trick is it's just the opposite rotation, right? So you're gonna immediately just go like this. It sounds a lot simpler than it actually is, but it's really about doing that movement smoothly. And what I like to do is I like to, for a split second, increase that yaw rate as if I'm gonna go into the tree intentionally as a way to kind of flick the quad back and go the other way. So when you watch the sticks and you can replay this and watch it, you'll see that it's very consistent as I'm just holding the trippy and then I kind of like increase that yaw for a second and then flick back the other way. You don't have to do it that aggressively, but I kind of like doing that just because I like the way it looks, but it also seems to kind of give me like a quick breath of air in order to make sure I'm lined up to go the other way. So another way you can rewind is, you can see here I'm looking at these two trees and instead of rewinding on the same tree, I'm gonna create a figure eight and go from one tree to the other. I actually find this to be a little bit harder than just rewinding on the same tree, but let's try it. Let's start by just trippy spinning one tree like this, and then I'm gonna rotate and I'm gonna go over to the next tree. And then I'm gonna rotate. And this is all about just balancing the throttle super delicately. When you make your transitions, is it like a sharp movement or is it? are you kind of like smoothly going into it? I mean, you can kind of smoothly go into it like this, but I find that I have better luck when I kind of like 
the initial flick. It's like a flick for me. Yeah. It's like a little blip on the throttle and then a little extra movement on top of what you're already doing, right? Yeah, that's basically what you're doing. It's, you know, you can practice doing this just on one tree and then when you get really good, you can do kind of like a figure eight rewind. I've done this trick at this location where I power loop into a Maddie and then into it. Uh, it wasn't the cleanest, but we're in it. Okay, so we're getting it set up and then when we're ready to transition, flick. And again, I'm just keeping my eye on the tree. I'm trying to keep the tree center of frame. Now I'm gonna just rewind on the tree itself into the ground, into a vanny roll. Go watch that video. I think a key on this one is you're looking for that transition point, right? Because there's only one spot that you can transition from one tree to the other. Yeah, exactly. Whereas it, before when you were doing the rewind, you could trippy and then at any point you could just rewind it. But on this one, you gotta wait until you're between the two obstacles and then that's when you apply that that movement to, to transition over. Well, so I think I do it a little bit different because you're saying you have like a soft transition back the other direction where I feel like I have more of a like a, a, like a hard stop yeah. and then back. I think we're more similar than not. Sometimes I'll like do a soft transition and other times I'll do like a flick and like kind yeah. of juice back into it. But I think it, <laughs> honestly for me, it's just whatever comes naturally in the moment. Yeah. Sometimes the reason I like to flick it really hard is I feel like it, it's easier to go into the next trippy spin almost. Yes. Whereas when you do it soft, you kind of start losing altitude like this and then it makes the trippy spin kind of start off a little like uneven. So I kind of like hard flicking because I just immediately go right into that next one. I mean, one trick that kind of helps me with that transition is to make an over rotation of the direction that you're already going on the trippy. Yeah. And it gives me um, a little blip of throttle in the other direction to stop the movement and then get the opposite movement going. So like if you're trippy spinning left around a tree, mm -hmm. you go a little extra left, exactly. blip it, and then that, that projects you right somehow? Because what you want to do is when you're stopping the move, right, if you just go and do a normal trippy spin and you come to a stop, right, you're going to just start falling. Yeah. So what we do is we kind of blip it because we're trying to get that momentum going the other way quickly. That way we don't fall out of the maneuver. Once you get really good at this and you have a really tall set of trees, what you can do is you can come to a stop without like doing this aggressive flick back. Yeah. But when you do that smooth transition, you're going to lose altitude vertically because you're yeah, not so getting you're like, it rotating. I've seen, when I see you do it, and I think you too, you guys have that really abrupt like you're going and you go like uh, and then right. that exactly. puts you back the other way yeah and really what that's doing is arresting that movement that you've got going so it, it's good for when you don't want to slow the trippy down before mm -hmm. you change directions if you want to just power into it and then just come to an abrupt stop yeah and then go back the other direction that's a great way to do it mm. what, what what's happening let me, just let me know when you're ready what, i'm ready now go. Three, okay okay two, all right so we're gonna one, trippy spin and trippy oh oh trippy dial okay <laughs> all right I like this pipe. <laughs> right, okay, so if I want to do it the other way, I tend to over rotate and then whoop, slam it back. Oh, you just bang, I'm just watching your sticks and you just went like, bow. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's how I like to do it. Um, Cause you can just be going at any speed, you can go super fast and then just whoop, back the other way. You guys, watch his sticks. That is actually really helpful to watch. I don't usually watch stick cam too much, but I actually see that it really is like, it's, yeah. it's a very aggressive maneuver. It helps you keep your height so you're not dropping, right? Because you can keep on that throttle and you just keep it going. Yeah. Kind of adds a little flare when you go back the other direction. Yeah, I think that the main trick is that over rotation is what allows you to kind of like arrest the movement. Yeah. And then send it back in the other direction. So if you were to just apply throttle, you're gonna go right into the tree. Right. But if you over rotate the direction that you're going, right. now you're facing this way. Yeah. Right? So when you, when you pop that throttle, it's gonna stop that movement and then send it the other direction. And okay. then you rotate into that next trippy spin. Right. So, like, so you got your sticks in, in one direction, say they're, they're pointed out, I can't orient it, but let's say it's, that uh, this way is pointing out Oh. So your sticks pointed out, you pull them more outward to yes. over rotate it, then you blast it and quickly go inward. And now you got the sticks going inward and now you're going the other way. Exactly. That right? And that means okay. you can maintain your throttle. You're not going to drop yeah. down the tree because you're, you know, letting off the throttle. Mm -hmm. And and then you get a little bit of a, you know. Like a, but I think what you were saying is if you wanted to do it smooth, you could. But right. 
this is when you're gonna kind of come down and then you're gonna have and to like come back And then you have to reorientate off. yourself back around it because if you don't kind of over rotate it, yeah. even if you have the altitude on your side, you're gonna end up moving a little bit closer in. Mm -hmm. So you just have to be ready to then just like get it back in the center of frame. Well, I think what we'd love to see is your trippy spin rewinds. So, you know, link us to your clips, show us what you've got. Yeah, I'm curious to see what you guys can do and like what you can manage to trippy spin around. Maybe you find a different way of doing it that we haven't seen. So yeah, link those videos down in the comments below. I'll be looking through them. If you guys like this video, of course, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Up. check out our store in the description down below guys that is our sponsor is the store and that's how we're able to afford to make these videos and do all this traveling so if you guys support us through the store thank you so much and it really helps us continue to make this content for you guys yeah let us know if there's any other tricks that you'd like us to cover thank you guys so much for watching this video we'll see you on the next one